My investigation starts here in this enormous antique centre. It's full of lots of interesting bits and pieces. Now, I could rummage around here all day, but Malcolm, the owner, has a job for me. Yes, Femi. Here we have three metal objects. Rather charming, actually. I like that one. Each one is made out of a different pure metal. Uh -huh. What I want you to find out for me is which metal each is made out of. OK, well, thanks for the task. All right, let's put them Every on. pure metal melts at a specific temperature called its melting point. Chunky science data books like this tell you the melting point of all the different metals. Looks like a great read. Tin, lead, aluminium, copper, iron. And loads of different metals could be any of them. But if I can find out the melting point of each of these objects, I'll be there. But where can I go that's hot enough to find out? Phew! I think I've found the right place. This is the rain foundry in Essex, and melting metals is their business. John's already got this crucible furnace stoked up to a high temperature. So which object's going to melt first? Whoops, in seconds, there's only half of Smiley Face left, but my other two objects are still solid. In goes John with a pyrometer, a special device to measure very high temperatures. So which metal melts at 327 degrees Celsius? Instead of trying to read these tables, I've got a more user-friendly device. The Science in Action Meltometer. 327 degrees Celsius is the melting point of lead. So the smiley face is, um, was made out of lead. Smiley's had it. All that's left is molten lead. It's the pot's turn to melt next, and my turn with the pyrometer. Okay. We have to hold that up here before I put it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Six hundred and sixty degrees Celsius. The melting point of aluminium. It's an aluminium pot. Well, it was a pot. Whoops. My last object, the lovely owl, is still firmly solid. It's not hot enough to melt him in the ladle. He actually has to go inside the furnace. Goodbye, owl. I'm ever so sorry. As the poor owl gets a roasting, it's back to work at the foundry. The foundry melts metals, then pours the liquids into casts. The metal cools and solidifies again into the shape of the cast. At last, the owl's finally melting. He's history. One thousand and eighty-four degrees Celsius. My owl was made out of copper. 